Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's see what's down the spooky tunnel. Oh, I'm getting a little frightened here. Actually, it's pretty open. You can even see the sky through here, so it's not that spooky whatsoever. <laughs> Whoa, holy poopers! This is why I said in the last part that you shouldn't even bother buying Deku sticks, because you can just stand right next to these things. Don't move, just do a horizontal slash like that. And when they're standing straight up, they'll give you a Deku stick. Just like that, you've got one for free! You don't have to buy it whatsoever at the shop. Those guys are vandals! Well, just that one guy is a vandal, I guess. So I got a max of 10 sticks. I'll be able to upgrade that twice, actually, throughout the course of this adventure. And Deku sticks are very important. So remember, boink, like that, and you'll get yourself a stick. Over here, boink, that's three sticks. Very easy to get them. And, did I hear a fourth one? Where is there a fourth? Oh, this one respawned, so I guess I can, uh, get as many Deku 6 as I want. <laughs> I didn't know they respawned, my mistake. Anyway, what you want to do in, now is, see those C buttons at the upper right corner there? Now, they relate to either the C buttons on your uh, Nintendo 64 controller or the C stick on your GameCube controller. So I'm going to assign them just by highlighting them and then pressing the C button that I want to assign them as. It's very easy to just switch items whenever you please, just like this. And you can hold up to three items at one time. There we go. Let's see the Deco tree. And this is one freaking large tree. <laughs> Yes, she has, with a very, very tired boy. I really wish I could have got more sleep. Unfortunately, I couldn't because she woke me! <sighs> Alright, I'll listen. I'm already up, so I might as well. <sighs> mm, what's... Is there something going on in this world? Is some evil gain the strength? Uh-oh. I am not liking the sounds of this. And whenever someone's talking in Old English, you better listen to them. Um... Well, no, that actually sounds kind of scary. But I know if I say no, you're just going to repeat yourself. So I'm just going to say yes. <laughs> oh no! I hope there's no saliva on there. It's going to be kind of gross and... Ooh, that's germy and... Mm. I suppose you are the great Teku tree, and I hope that it's clean. I do have my hand sanitizer with me, so I think I should be fine. Anyway, there's another Deku Bawa here for whatever reason. Uh, I, oh, I should also mention something. Whenever you, well, I'll, go, I'll show it when I go inside here. Whenever you L target an enemy, you can press up on the C stick to. Um, check out what their name is and how to defeat them. Navi will give you a little tip on how to do that. It's very, very handy. So I'll just, uh, yeah, we're inside now. It's extremely spooky, oh boy. Um, this is the part of that's different that's ma in Master Quest than is in the original Nintendo, um, pfft. Oh, they're both Nintendo 64 games. So I mean the original Ocarina of Time. But basically, dungeons are pretty much completely different. You have to do things in different orders and the puzzles are different. Anyway, when you L-target an enemy and then press up on the C stick or this up on the C button, you'll be able to see the enemy's name and, well, it doesn't really tell you how to defeat it. But still, um, yeah, so that's very, very handy, especially since I'll most likely forget the names of a load of enemies because that's just my way. So I have found a loophole away from my terrible memory. Yes! <laughs> so let's start exploring the tree here. It's not quite as mucusy as I expected, so that makes me quite happy. So let's just jump across here and see something that's new, like this keys here that wasn't there before that would ambush you. Uh, if a keys goes into a torch, which I'll be lighting a little bit later, it will go light on fire, and if it touches you while it's on fire, you will lose your shield! Yay! <laughs> anyway, these are Goma eggs, so do not let these things hatch. Yeah. Ah. Navi, I was about to attack it! Why would you do this to me? No, I don't want it to spawn. Oh, it spawned anyway. This is a Goma. 
it's Ogoma Larva, excuse me. And there we go, it's down. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Yeah, if you recall in the original game, those aren't here, and nor is this gold skull tula here. So you can break crates just by rolling into them by pressing the A button while running, and you'll get a skull to gold skull tula token, excuse me. Why they're carrying tokens, I have no idea. But there's 100 of these suckers in the world, and I intend on collecting every single one of them for a 100% run. What's in the chest? What's in the chest? I want it! map great for people with that have bad sense of directions such as I <laughs> and it'll explain the map here and it'll always explain this no matter how many times you get a dungeon map in a dungeon I have no idea why it does that but it does <laughs> uh, these are torches by the way it's not lit so I can't really do anything about that um, just jump gaps by running towards them and oh, I can't really do anything over there <laughs> The uh, spider, spider web is blocking it out, so that's going to be a, quite a problem. Um, I could use that recovery heart in front of that hole to recover life. Um, don't worry about any skull watulas up here like they were in the original game. For some reason they're gone, probably because you do not have the slingshot yet to kill them off. And they want you to explore later rooms without the slingshot first, so that's probably the reason why. So you don't have to like try and scuttle past them while they're not looking. And just plop off here. There we go. Look out for, uh, not these, these are the things that I was thinking of. I was looking for the full-on Skulltulas that, whoa, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that hole was there. I should say I forgot about that, oh boy. Um, if you ever kill these things, these Deku Babas here, uh, I'll, I'll just give you a little idea here. Yeah, I, I would like to kill it with its head pointed out at me like that. And if you kill it like that, you'll get a Deku Nut for it. These things, what they do is they stun enemies, basically. They are probably one of the most useless items in the game. <laughs> Think of them as like a flash grenade of sorts. I've got five of them right now. Yeah, one Deku Nut gives you five of them, if that makes any sense. Whoa! That keys touched me, but it didn't hurt me. Yeah, the keys are bats, and there's a heart. See, that's why you shouldn't even bother buying hearts at shops. Because <laughs> loads of things drop them. Anyway... Nuts! And see what that does? It stuns enemies just like that, so you, so you have the most ideal setup for killing them. Even though I did a horrible job there taking advantage of that, but whatever. Uh, there's a switch here wh which will start up the torch over there. And I can use that to burn spider webs. Uh, over there, please do not start on fire, Mr. Keese. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, well, I don't have to kill you. I can just go inside the room if I wanted to. Uh, oh, no, 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 I'm going to take care of you. <laughs> uh, that's all for this area, I guess, so let's go inside the room! I know how to enter doors, Navi. <laughs> and I know what the icon is. I we, We've seen the icon many times before, and... Now you'll notice this room is quite a bit different as well than it, it was in the original Ocarina of Time, and that's... The whole thing of Master Quest here is the fact that you've got to deal with some new threats, basically. And yeah, I can. I know that's a torch there. This I would very much like to kill it before it uh, spawns a gom. I could have swore I heard an egg fall. <laughs> and what? Why didn't this break? The that. Th what? Forget it. <laughs> What is with that crate? It won't break. It refuses to break. Um, what's inside these things? These are infinite spawning um, grass. That's why I, I figured that I may, might need something. That's why I wanted to check to see what it was. Anyway, these are times. You only have so much time to get over there. And, uh, yeah. oh, no, I shouldn't Z-target them to try and jump gap, should I? <laughs> Uh, okay, I, I wanted to try and kill the Goma egg with a jump attack, but obviously that was highly unsuccessful. But uh, as you can see, this puzzle is seemingly the same with these floor panels that pop, or these... You've got to be kidding me, right? <laughs> Wait, where'd you... Oh, the egg's on the ceiling. Uh, I'm going to take care of you just because you're going to annoy me. And Don't run away from me. Die like a man! <laughs> there we go. Now, since I failed like five times in this room already, let's let's do this for realsies now. Let's flip the camera, and let's press the switch. 
I'm gonna flip the camera every time I would like to press the switch. No, no. Maybe I should be switching the controls. I'm used to playing with the Z targeting that you have to hold the button. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably switch the controls later on just because that's gonna bug the heck out of me because I hate when I double lock onto things like that and can't stop locking onto things. There's absolutely nothing up here. I could have swore there was supposed to be something on there. <laughs> Um, I should also mention something about this, which is kind of why I'm flailing around here, is that I've only played through Master Quest once before, and I've never 100%ed it. So this is going to be a new experience for me all around. Yay! But I have confidence that I will be able to do it. And die, thank you. And you have to die now as well. Is that all of them? There's one. Oh, I have to kill all the enemies in the room. I bet you that's why this isn't working right. Oh, okay, there we go. One more. There we go. Now, what? Did that do it? Did that do it? That opens those bars. And the chest appears over there for whatever reason. Why, I don't know. It usually appeared on the other side. <laughs> uh, so let's just go over there. And I should have switched the camera around ahead of time. Oh, it worked for me. Okay. And boop. Suspenseful opening once more! Man, what kind of light source is inside these treasure chests anyway? I mean, jeez. Alright, I got the fairy slingshot. I can shoot things with it, basically, and that's all you can do with it. It is extremely handy. And you also go into, like, a first-person shooter mode, which was pretty revolutionary for its time. As well as that L-slash-Z L targeting thing, which has pretty much become standard in most games. And, like... Oh, did not mean to do that. I wanted to set into the camera behind me again. Is there anything around me that I can shoot with the slingshot? Just for the fun of it, because as I said, I don't remember Master Quest all that much. Anyway, I should probably equip this sucker. There we go. And here, out we go. To... Oh, no, 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 no. I see that keeks right on the torch. I thought it was going to start on fire. That would have been a big problem. <laughs> um, did that torch... Yeah, that torch down there is now lit for whatever reason. I don't know why it's lit, but whatever. Anyway, what I want to do here is jump off and land on that spider web way, way at the bottom to unlock it. So, whoop, and perfect! Yeah! But I don't want to go, to go down here just yet, so I'm just going to climb back out here. <laughs> There's a, a couple more rooms that I have to do up there before I move on. Uh, especially since I got the dungeon item here. Um, a general rule in Zelda games, whenever you get the dungeon item, that's pretty much the item that you'll be using primarily for the rest of the dungeon. <laughs> and you're usually stuck until you get that item. Just just a general rule there. That's just how most uh, Zelda games work. So just so I would say that now, it's a pattern that they have, and this game is no exception to it. Okay, now, you know that, they, that Deku stick that I got? Wait, I'm first going to take care of you. There we go. Now, see this? Got a stick, right? Whip it out. <laughs> now, touch the torch. Run over here, quickly. Jump. And... You can burn spider webs with it. Now, before the torch burns away the stick, pull out your sword and you'll put away the stick, which will allow you to preserve the Deku stick. In here, giant... Deku Baba. Well, big Deku Baba. Normally, you don't get to see these things until much, much later in the game. I'm talking like fourth dungeon in the game. <laughs> um, they, they're basically just a big version of those Deku Babas that you've seen before. So they're no real surprise. Anything on the ceiling? Okay. <laughs> um, now that I got the slingshot, I can now do this. <laughs> just like so and in first person shooter mode the center of those two prongs is where you're aiming and you want to shoot out the eyes of things i don't know why in zelda games it's always been like that but if you ever see an eye you can shoot it <laughs> or poke it out or whatever and it's kind of gruesome i have to say actually and you'll notice that that those deku seeds that popped out those are your ammunition for your slingshot you can buy those at the store as well, but I don't see why the heck you'd want to, as I said before. But anyway, I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I'll see you in the next part when we go through that door. 
and see what else has changed in Master Quest.